Hi everyone, it's me Temini. Welcome back to Little Bites of HR, a podcast talking about all things people and culture. In a short episode, we'll be keeping it real about all things HR with an added EDI lens. Today, we'll be talking about managing performance, the good, the bad and the ugly. So let's talk about how we actually manage it then. How do we actually manage it? Let's talk about some top tips. Let's go with the poor first. How do we manage poor performance? Number one, this is the easiest one, um, or the most important one, is having your policy in place. We're always going to scream and shout this um, because you need to have a policy as an organisation and follow that policy as well. Um, So making sure that those procedures are placed and that they are available as well for, you know, your managers and employees to have access to so they're aware of, you know, what you're going to be following. I'm also going to say keeping regular one-to-ones. I know sometimes it's busy if you're in a small organisation, really busy. But making sure you have that time to capture behavior before it becomes a problem. Like we've been talking about, there are little issues that, you know, can be nipped in the bud or understood by being more flexible or, you know, just by having an informal chat one-to-one sometimes can easily prevent an issue from spiraling out of control. So make sure that that one-to-one is happening as often as it can. Yeah, I agree. And I think also ensuring that... um all performance changes are dealt with as soon as possible and supportively. I think that's the key word here, being supportive to, you know, little changes you may notice, um, you know, and get to the bottom of, of why these things are happening or why this change has occurred. I also think, you know, holding informal discussions first, not everything needs to go straight to the formal, um, you know, and that will help you to try and establish what might be happening with your employees. You know, ask them if they need help. You know, ask them what what can the organisation do to support them going through whatever they're going through and just really being the listening ear to their concern. Yeah, I think it's important that with that listening and we should listen more than we speak when we're having those performance discussions with individuals who are not quite um, meeting the mark. There is a conversation where you then do need to be doing the speaking and that's about setting clear objectives, right? If someone's not performing, you have to look in the mirror yourself as a manager, as a leader and say, hold on a minute. Have I been really clear in my expectations? Right. So you've listened to them. You've listened to their concerns. You've made the changes where you can now make clear what the objectives are for their performance. What are you trying to see them um, do um, differently or achieve or meet as a standard moving forward? And, And once you set that for them, ask them again, do you need help in achieving that? um but enough about the bad what about the good how do we manage good performance what about good what should we do we're saying that same thing again which is holding your regular one-to-ones I know personally for me I don't know if it's like a Gen Z thing or whatever (laughs) but I want those one-to-ones I want you to tell me that you're doing well Temini or you know you did this really well last time and so I know that oh okay this is the standard I need to keep to or this is what I'm doing well at and you know those things that I feel like I might not be doing my best at you know it's all right they're still good within you know that whole mix up of emotions I might be going for at that point in time Mm, agreed yeah I agree and I think also like understanding how as an employee how can I be developed further you know what um what training courses or what training avenues can you offer me as an employer that will allow me to maintain this high level of performance you know, but also thinking about what rewards and benefits are in place. How can we enhance these rewards and benefits for our employees to ensure that they are motivated to continue to perform at the high standard that they are performing? And I think lastly would be to say thank you. Just like we've listened to our employees about what maybe isn't going so right, I think it's equally as important to thank and acknowledge all the good work that our employees are doing um so yeah that's what I would say would be the good I'll just want to say that's really lovely to say thank you because you don't you don't hear that a lot and that those are three simple words right thank you very much or thank you I'm sure that's four anyway <laughs> but it's such a simple thing to say so it's nice to, to remember that yeah I agree so to wrap up we spoke about performance management how to manage both good and for performance, we gave you guys some practical tips. Um, so we really hope you take these on board. Thank you so much. Manage your good performers. It's not just about the stick. It's also about the camera. <laughs> Thanks for listening.
We hope you gained some valuable information today. We can be found on all social media platforms with our handle, a little bit of HR. If you still need further help or want to find out more, then get in touch for a free 20 minute consultation discussion with any one of us by booking online at www.alittlebitofhr.com.